Hey everybody, welcome back to the world of the humble companies. This is the Chilean Retro Gamer, and the game I'm doing right now is Thunder Arcade for the arcade. Remember, everyone, this is also available on GameAnyone.com. So yeah, this is the last part, pretty sure you will see, because I'm about to reach the final area, the final boss. Sorry for spoiling this much, but... I'm just warning you, before you get disappointed for such a short part, such a short game, doesn't take more than 25 minutes to beat it in, to in, in, yeah, yeah, in total, in general. So here we are. Radioactive material, apparently. So you have to destroy all of these pegs shooting on me. That's the final boss, ladies and gentlemen. That's the super difficult, impossible <laughs> final boss. Music is kind of weird, actually. I, I don't get the melodies at all. You will realize when you are done with one of these soldiers, when the sort of window from shooting me from is destroyed. You will realize. Say I destroyed one down here. Oh my god. Apparently the bombs are not really effective, if you ask me. You are causing more damage by shooting at them with a normal shot. Okay. Wow, it's almost all of them. Just a couple of them are alive. No, one, only one at the top. That guy. That's it. Congratulations, you have destroyed all the enemies. You are just a superior soldier. Yeah, it doesn't have to to show more than this. Very simple ending. And an explosion and a nice effect. Uh, it's pretty much the entire game. October 1987, that's the actual date, let's say. And end. It's not a great game, but it's not that boring. I think it's okay for a 20 minute run. More than enough, it doesn't have to be longer. So yeah, that was Thunder Arcade on the arcade. Uh, you can also play the NES version, but definitely this is the one I recommend you to play in case you liked it. So yeah, that's it everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next project.